hey, let's make the easiest diorama that we could possibly think of using cardboard. That's the cardboard. We're gonna make a diorama out of cardboard. I have this little Jeep. It's like a cheap little knockoff of a Hot Wheels, but actually it's a, a AMC Eagle, just like my car. But this is the coupe version, and my car is the sedan. So let's do it. Let's make it. Okay, so we're just gonna do this using out of cardboard. But you know what? We got foam. Foam's all around. I got four of these I can make something out of. Hey, what about this? The inside of a tape roll. Go put a top on there and set a little car on top of that. Hey, what can we do here with this? So I've got my little car. I'm going to set it on here. And I'm just going to rough draw with this black marker all around. Just like that. Easy peasy. Then I'm going to count that as one. That's going to be the base. And what I'm going to keep doing is I'm going to cut that out. You can do it with scissors. Or you can do it with a, a knife. I've got a special tool. It's a little finger knife. It gives you nice control. You can just push with your finger. I have this mat that uh, you can't uh, cut through. It's a self-healing mat. Just pull through. You don't have to be per perfect here. We're just we're trying our very first diorama, right? I mean, many of you want to do a diorama. Let's just see how easy and cheap we can make it. Oh, I'm not making it look very easy, but sometimes you do have to go through several layers, just like the balsa wood. Uh -oh, uh -oh. I should have gotten it out. Yes. Can you take my scissors, cut this little section out. Easy peasy. There we go. We got our first piece. Now we're just going to make smaller pieces that sit on top of it. Because we're going to do is we're going to make this little Jeep look like it's going up a hill climb. This is going to be so easy. So fun. You guys are going to love this. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw all these out. Maybe I should position the camera different right now. You can see a little closer. You can use a figurine like a horse figurine. You could use a mini suitcase. You can use anything as your top figure on this. You see, I cut everything out. Okay. I moved them around in there, looked at different positions to put them in. Made one little tiny one at the bottom. It's going to be just going up like that. You want to go to higher, add more. Just let your imagination go. Okay, now it's going to be real quick and easy. I've got white, white tacky glue, school glue works. Uh, wood glue works. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to take that glue and I'm just going to start on the bottom piece and, and just rub it on there. Add a little water in my finger, smooth that glue around so it's in all areas. Get all, my, get all the edges. There's a lot of pressure in figuring out what to say in here in between these little breaks. And I have to get a time just right, or... So far, all the layers of cardboard glued down. Just let that sit and dry for a few minutes, and I'll wipe off this glue. Play with it for a while. What can I do with glue? What can I do? Don't throw these scraps away. You, you may want to use them in your project. I mean, let's see. We could make a little tree. Um, you know, make it... Just cut out. Bam. Bam. Maybe do up another little branch up there. No? I don't know. Just keep trying. Just keep trying. Maybe you invent a new tree, you know? Maybe you can invent a new tree. Cardboard, it's the scraps from, from just this diorama. Maybe we can paint this up and add this somewhere. Now it looks kind of magical, doesn't it? All right, now you need some Mod Podge. Maybe I'll uh, see if that needs to be watered down a little. No, 
not at all. I use it straight out of there. I'm going to put it on this paper towel. Try to keep it in scene here. And I'm just going to mod podge all of this. Just all of it. Just cover it all up. Now, you can use white glue and add water. It will come out with the same consistency. It will do the exact same thing. You can do this a larger scale. Maybe you have a larger car. Maybe you can do, maybe you want to do a smaller scale. Maybe you have micro machines. Whatever you want to do, man. Whatever you want to do. And. Okay, so I mosh podge that. Throw this brush in water. Still good, still good. Then I'm just going to take dirt. I got just some dirt from the yard. Some people use nylons to filter it and shake it on, but I'm just going to just dump it on everything. Just dump it all on there. Even the big pieces, they'll, they'll come off. The big pieces will come off or I can re-glue them with something else. It's all covered. Now look at that. It's not going to look like this, but it's funny. Give it a little push down here. Push it in there. Make sure it gets into all the crevices and cracks. Because you can actually do this several times. It's a technique I show you. You can do it several times. Oops. Womp womp. There we go. Put some up there. See, that's just a cardboard. It actually looks pretty cool, like some places up in the mountains, kind of how the ground looks like that. It looks like little stairs or steps or erosion. All right. Now you must wait for it to dry again. In fact, you could have just, you know, painted all that. I just took that step out. I took out the step of painting everything. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Because the next steps are gonna be really cool. Spray this isopropyl alcohol and you get your model all wet. Mix together that water from earlier with that Mosh Posh. And what you're gonna do is what that the isopropyl alcohol does is it wets everything down so that your glue can actually soak into the dirt and cover everything. Because if you try to do this with dry dirt, it would just, the glue would bubble on top and not really sink in. It takes a while. This part, I would play a really cool song, a little musical theme, something a little fun. Put this in front of the heater and let it dry for a while. I want to say it'll take an hour, so we'll see. All right. Ah, fresh out of the oven little muddy diorama. It's done. Put the, put the Jeep on there. Just take a look at that. That's pretty cool. So what can we put on here? What can we make this look more realistic instead of just a pile of mud? Let's uh, put some rocks on. I've got tiny, tiny little rocks. Little red rocks. Kind of sandy colored rocks. I also got moss. You can go out to your fence or somewhere around and I'm sure you'll find moss and if, and if you want a desert scene you'll find something that that grows in your area that will work. There's always something that will work for you. The dirt from the desert. You can make a scene. I've got some lichen. I also got some tiny roots. So let's just see where it goes. Fun, fun, fun. Gluing everything down. All the moss and the tree. And propping up the tree. And checking out the size with the cars. And putting the rocks on. And there we go. We put the car on. It looks pretty cool. Thanks for looking at that. I like it. We did it, my friends. We made the easiest diorama that you can make out of just things in your yard, cardboard, and glue. 
I hope you appreciate it and I hope you create something. I just wanted to show you how easy it can be and that you could do it yourself. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.